So help me answer a question. Sarah loves theater and arts. She took history and humanities in college. She has a large collection of essays and she loves composing music in the evening. So which one of these two scenarios is more probable about Sarah? Option one, Sarah enjoys writing. Option two, Sarah enjoys writing and is bad at mathematics. In such a scenario, a lot of people choose option two because option two is more elaborate. But when you look at it from a probability point of view, the probability of Sarah enjoying writing is more than the probability that Sarah enjoys writing and she does not like math because we're talking about two different things now. The probability of one thing is always higher than the probability of two things happening at the same time. This is something called the conjunction fallacy. Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky provided an example of this in 1983. Linda is 31 years old, single, outspoken and very bright. She majored in philosophy. As a student, she was deeply concerned with the issues of discrimination and social justice. Which one of these two options is more probable about Linda? Option 1. Linda is a bank teller. Option 2. Linda is a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement. Most people chose option 2 in their study as a most probable option, but that is the wrong choice since option 2 can only be probable if all the bank tellers are also active in the feminist movement. As the probability of these two events happening together or in conjunction is always less than or equal to the probability of either of these two events occurring by themselves. In other words, probability of A is greater than or equal to the probability of A intersection B, if you remember mathematics from school. So what's the point of this mental model? How can it help you in your daily life? The point is whenever we're given very elaborate information, we tend to think that just because it's more elaborate, that scenario is more probable. So so don't feel compelled to jump to the most elaborate conclusion. Keep an open mind. Always remember that something can be true or it can be false. There is also a third option which is let's keep an open mind until we can gather more evidence. Can you think of any example of the conjunction fallacy from your life? Let me know. Thank you so much.